guys, it's John from theproductivegarden.com and it's time to take this hive that we rescued from the Telstra hive out of my top bar nuke and I'm going to put it into my top bar hive. I haven't been in this all winter so I don't know what it's going to look like um, so I reckon we should go and have a look. So I'll just have to take the top off first. Which is a bit hard with gloves on. Okay, so I've got the top off. Just going to loosen this first bar here. We'll have to see what they've done. Okay, so they've built nothing on there. Built nothing on that one. Built nothing on that one. Okay, so we've got one bit of comb here at the end, which they haven't actually attached yet. So I'll put that in here. And there's another bit here. Put the space in here. Okay, so I'm just going to put spaces where I think I need to, just so the honeycomb doesn't push against each other. And I've just got a bit of burr comb here on the side wall I've got to cut off. Should be about it now. Still a bit of resistance from somewhere. Okay, so just a bit of a bridge comb between the two layers of honeycomb now. You right? Oh. Okay. You right? Yeah, sure. All right, they've started doing some cross combing here, which is a bit of a pain. they've done, they've done a bit of cross combing, they've built this new bit of comb off of here, which unfortunately they've got some brood on, I'm just going to have to get rid of it, and tidy up this comb, okay, They've been left all winter. They've sort of done what they wanted to here. It's a bit of a mess. I've got a little bit of cleaning up to do. But I sort of expected that. And they built comb onto the hair clip as well. Typical bees, they don't really go to plan very well. Okay, I'll leave that there. Got this next one here. Which I will try to fix up as much as I can.
Now the, the damage that I've done to the comb, the bees will fix that up themselves. I'll just get a spacer between these two. Push them together. What's going on there? I actually put a bit of honeycomb between those two, a bit of a bar between those two, to give them more space. Right, we have two more bars of comb to get out. All right, got some bridge comb on the wall here. And it's one thing you always got to be careful when you're working through a top bar hive is just be careful of any comb they've got attached to the wall of the hive because if you try to drag the comb out with it still attached to the hive to look at it then you'll break it off the bar okay so we've got this bit here um, i'm going to put a spacer in here Right. I reckon we're putting a spacer in for the next one, but we might just take one of these pieces out so we can push them up a bit. Right, yeah. Now this has got some attached to the side. So I'll use the, the bread knife is just a bit easier to use to cut the bridge comb because it just gets down deeper you can reach in a lot more deeply. Okay. All right. So I'll close these up. And like I haven't really used any smoke on these guys either and they've actually been pretty good I have to be pretty happy with how these guys have gone and I'll just put our follower board in the end here and we'll make that the end of their hive for now just snug them up Actually, what I will do, I'll just move some of these up and I'll take a bar out of the end so that the bees that are up this end have got somewhere to go because there are a few. Just leave that bit of honeycomb in there. I'll leave that hole there. Let's tidy these bars up. Okay, there's a little bit of brood here. I'm just going to sacrifice that. It's just going to be messy if I leave it in the hive. Now, what I'm going to do now, before I put the lid on, is I'll just leave this in front of the hive here. And there's a little bit of honey in there. They'll clean that up. There's a bit of honey here as well. They'll clean that up and um, they're ready to go. So we've got the bees in here now, um, they've been pretty good, I haven't used any smoke on these, I had the smoker lit, haven't used any smoke, they behave themselves pretty well. Um, hopefully they will behave themselves in this hive and not do too much mess with the comb. Um, they haven't been too bad, for, for bees that have been, I mean it wasn't exactly the tidiest transfer, 
it was a bit hard with the honeycomb that was um that was put in here to get it nice and straight and everything with the hair clips but um i'm pretty happy with the way they've done i haven't made a whole lot of mess um the only thing i'll have to keep an eye on is is robbing just to make sure that no bees come and rob them but um i think they should do pretty well they had heaps of brood in there so that's good um i didn't see the queen but i didn't want to have a look for her either because i just wanted to do this quick yeah, anyway we've got this i just need to put the roof on now i'll get things tidied up but um we'll have a look back in, we'll have a look at these guys in two weeks time and see how they're going i think they'll be going pretty well there you can see by the amount of bees flying around there they're a pretty strong hive they're doing well and um they're pretty calm as well which i which i really like anyway that's it till now i'll get this tidied up and until next time happy productive gardening bye